Hello and welcome back to our second video in our As Far As The Eye basic tutorial series where we're giving you the basic tools and knowledge that you need in order to get started and feel confident that you can reach the end of the game. With this, we are going to be covering our resource gathering and construction actions. If you've missed the last video where we covered how to pick a tribe, navigate the map, select goals, and set up your caravan, I've included a link in the description. But let's go ahead and get started with looking at our pupils. Now there are a number of ways you can select your pupils. You may either select them down here where we have Baal, Ritores, and Kill. These of course will vary every game. Simply by selecting one, you will have everything that you need to get to the character. But let's say you want to select them based on the map. You can select anywhere down from the balloon to the character themselves and you'll be able to give them commands. The final way is to select them by number. If I were to press two, I would select our second pupil. If I were to select one by pressing the number, I would select our first. Now that we know how to select them, let's talk about what they can do. Initially, when you set up your caravan, you have a single building which can gather pack animals, unique resources that are needed for constructing special buildings. You can harvest pepkin, which can be used in place of rations and then later convert it into rations on more advanced buildings and you can harvest wood, which is a key resource necessary for nearly everything you can construct. Normally, I would get all three of our characters started on wood, but both our setup and something unique about our first pupil prevent us from doing that, and I'll get into exactly what that unique thing is later. So we've instead opted to have two characters harvest wood and one character go explore. Now the characters do change clothing which is really a neat and innovative way to identify exactly what they're doing. Now, to harvest the wood as you see here you can select a character and either right click the cell that you want them to harvest from and select the resource you want them to harvest or select the character right click the caravan because that is what allows us to harvest the wood and select the resource. Now one thing to note is that when we have a character selected if we right click on a building that can allow you to do more than one thing it will instruct them to do it the most efficient way possible. This means selecting pepkin it moves to the nearest source of pepkin in order to harvest and that'll be the same way with all of our buildings. The last resource we can gather just with our caravan are pack animals. These pack animals are used one apiece to build some of our more advanced structures and with those structures we'll want to make sure that we have pack animals on hand whenever we are able to gather them. It is a gathering action where the character will lead this back to either the nearest pasture or the nearest caravan depending on what you have available. A few turns have gone by and we now have enough resources to consider building one of our gathering buildings. To do this, we select one of our pupils and hover over whatever we want to build. Now, we do have the sawmill which we can build and it allows gathering wood but our caravan already provides that. What this provides, other than a more convenient location to drop off the wood at, is the ability for woodcutters to earn experience from doing their task. But we can also set up quarries, mines, or pastures to gather stone or, or wool as available. If we wanted to look at other buildings we could build, we can select over here and note that we can build a harvesting hut, hunting lodge, fishery, farm, cookhouse, bakery, and dispensary for gathering or producing items that are not quite necessary for other building structures. 
In this case, food is often provided as a way to keep our game going and our characters surviving. The last section of buildings are the unique buildings which pack animals are required for. Each of the buildings in this location provide a very unique function. The camp will allow a greater population, allowing for more pupils to be available. Workshop will allow upgrades as well as a bonus to anything that is in its proximity. The market allows trading of resources and the council allows use of knowledge points to unlock bonuses related to vagaries and travel. And we'll talk about vagaries, knowledge points, and other things like that a little bit later. For now though, we want to build a pasture so that we can gather this nearby wool in order to build other buildings. We have a few options. We can convert our 100 wood into a permanent pasture. Permanent pastures do not move from location to location. The second option is a mobile pasture. This will allow us to spend additional resources to be able to pack this pasture up and deploy it without expending resource costs in the next halt of our map. However, keep in mind as you're doing this that you can only take so many resources and buildings from location to location. So if you build everything with a mobile intent, you may not be able to take many resources or all of your buildings to the next halt. In order to do this, we're going to simply select permanent and select the cell where we want to build it. From there, we'll spend a few turns and our pasture is complete. Now here, we could select a character to go and harvest the wool simply by right clicking on it and then clicking our wool option. Of course, we can also still select the wool itself of the tile we want to go to and move there. And once our characters have moved there, we'll begin gathering. In addition to our basic resource gathering buildings, we also have some production buildings, namely the cookhouse, bakery, and dispensary. Now, with the cookhouse, we're going to be able to turn fish and game into rations. With the bakery, we're going to be able to create rations from cereals and pepkins. And the dispensary allows us to create spices and potions. We're going to go ahead and select the bakery now. And now that we've created our bakery, by right clicking on it, you see we have a few unique options that don't look like any resources we've seen before. We have bread, which will allow us to take certain resources of cereals into rations as well as fruit puree, which is what we're going to choose to do now and take our pepkin and turn it into rations. You can see we receive quite a bit more rations from each of the pepkins than we would otherwise. And you can see every single turn we're spending a little bit of wood, gaining experience and gaining rations. So now we know how to harvest and use our resources to help us meet our goals and progress from site to site. Now we're going to move on to our next episode where we cover friendly caravans, remains, sacred sites, and vagaries, all unique things that will affect your gameplay. Be sure to check it out by staying subscribed to make sure that you receive these episodes as they come out. In the meantime, I am Nidanoski, and as always, have fun.